Hello, it's Tracy here. I thought I would quickly share a little hack that I have just shared over in our Facebook group um, for all our customers, all our doTERRA customers. Um, but I thought I'd share it over here as well because you guys all love seeing what we do with this space as well. So I've got two hacks to share with you, so stick with me while I get through them both. Now, because I just did it as a Facebook Live in our customer group, then it's kind of already a bit pre-done. So stick with me, but I will explain it. The first hack I will share is I had just bought a brand new bottle of the laundry detergent. Now, these laundry detergents are super, 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 super concentrated, and you do not need what it tells you on the bottle, I promise. Like they're too, they're super concentrated. So what I did was I was like, okay, how do I stop overusing it because we were using too much and uh, my clothes weren't feeling quite right and some people say it even smells like vomit, um, which is not ideal. So how do we stop doing that and how do I make it so that no one in my family pours too much in and I still get really great benefits from using this product? Now, I get my laundry detergent for free because I order it through the loyalty program. So, but I still didn't want to overuse it, even though I get it for free. So what I did was I had some empty bottles. Now, let's pretend these are empty. I had some empty bottles and I thought, okay, how do I use up these empty bottles for one? Because I, you know, all for upcycling and repurposing. And how do I do that? And so what I did was, this, is, this was my full on guard laundry detergent. And like I said, I've just done this Facebook live. So you have to pretend, just pretend with me for a minute. So what I did was I decanted out this over the course of four. So I had one full bottle. I turned it into four. So in the bottom was just, it was up to, well, it was about half of what's in these bottles at the moment. Now they're not all perfect. So just don't worry about that. You don't have to have everything perfect when you're DIYing. So what I did was I took one bottle, I made it into four. So every bottle had about the same amount in it. Then what I did was I took pure Castile soap. Now this is just Castile soap that I get from my Whole Foods store. I fill up this jar and I use Castile soap for quite a few different things. So this is Castile soap. Uh, it's the Dr. Bronner's brand for anyone interested. And I buy it from my health food store, my local bulk store here in Hobart. So Castile soap. I take one bottle of laundry detergent, I split it between four. What I did then was I fill up with Castile soap, I double the content in each bottle. So that's where it's sitting at the moment. Now, they're not all identical, so I could just, you know, if I wanted to be really fussy about it and make it a little bit more OCD, I could just, you know, top up the ones that just needed that little bit extra. But that's what I've done there. And then all I do is I fill them with water. Um, and that is that now my laundry detergent that is already pre-diluted down. I don't have to worry that I'm using too much. I then just use about half a capful to one capful per load, depending on what I'm doing. Now these need a little bit more. I need to fill these, the rest of these up with water, but all I do is I use the filter. I've got a filter on my fridge and I just, you know, put them under the filter and I fill it up like I'm filling up a drink bottle. You could boil the kettle and let that water cool down and you could also do that. Or you could buy, you can buy distilled water uh, and filtered water from the supermarket. So you could do that if you wanted to as well. It's a bit dark in here. Let's turn the light on. Oh, it doesn't really make any difference. Okay, so that is how, that's the first, that's the first one. Decant one bottle across four, uh, fill it a little bit with Castile soap, about a cup worth of Castile soap. Fill them up with water and you're good to go. The other tip on that is you can add some extra essential oils in. So these no longer smell like On Guard. So if you're a person that do, does not like the smell of the On Guard detergent, these really don't smell like On Guard at all anymore. A very slight scent, but not much at all. So what I could do now is go and add in some essential oils to these and make them smell like something different. So you could use lemon. I've got petite grain here. You could use bergamot. You could use ylang ylang. You could use any oil that you wanted. Um, obviously use the cheaper ones. Don't go on a stick frankincense. Or you could, if that's up your alley and you've got oodles of money, fine. Um, and you could go and use rose too, but let's be real let's use the oils that are on the cheaper side like lemon wild orange would be beautiful lemongrass would be divine as well 
Uh, and you know, you could add some extra scent to your oils. Plus these oils, the citrus ones, lemon, wild orange, lemongrass, they're all really great for cleaning. So you will get an extra cleaning boost in these as well. If you add in some little bit of extra essential oil. Now I've got four bottles here. If I was to add an entire bottle across the four, the, this a bottle of lemon's like $12 or something. It's only like $3 a bottle. So I'm not really super fussed if I used a whole bottle of essential oil to fill up these four bottles of, um, of my laundry detergent. And it's about 30 or 40 drops per bottle. I'm not super counting here, you know, cause I can't count and talk at the same time. It's almost impossible for me. So what I would do is I just sort of keep dropping it in until pretty much I've filled up all of them and I've used a, a bottle of lemon. And I know then that, you know, every bottle has got about the same. Now I'm not gonna go and do that live with you guys right now, cause that's a little bit boring to sitting me, you know, here doing that. So I'm gonna move on to step two, which was the second hint that I wanted to share with you guys. But already you can smell a little bit of lemon in each of those bottles, which is really cool. All right, I will finish that off later. Um, okay, so I just need a whiff of lemon before I pack that away because it smells so amazing. All right, let's move on to hack number two. This is probably my favorite and, I, and I'm a bit excited by this one, which is a bit nerdy. All right, so I've just made it up because I just did it Facebook Live, let's remember. Um, surface cleaner. Now, just an ordinary spray bottle. I think it's about 300 mils. It could be 500, but I think it's a 300 mil bottle, somewhere in between there. Who has this bad boy and it's not really using it. Now I've seen quite a few people say they don't like the smell of it in their hand wash or I don't mind it. I actually quite like it in my hand wash, but if you don't, or if you want to try something else with it, then turn it into your surface cleaner. Now here's what I did. I just poured this into this about a third of the bottle. So, you know, half, to, not half, about a, a quarter to a third of my spray bottle. And then I filled it up with water. Um, it's really easy. So turn this into this. And if you have the on guard version of the hand wash, you can do exactly the same. And it becomes an amazing surface cleaner. I have cleaned my house this morning and given everything a wipe over. I've done this. This was, I've, I did this a couple of weeks ago. And I just have not shared it yet because I just want to test it out. But it's brilliant. Your stainless steel comes up. I don't care about using it on my granite bench top. Whereas the homemade, like the DIY version of a of a all-purpose spray has vinegar in it. And I don't use vinegar on my bench because I've got a stone bench top. So doing this version, it smells amazing. It's got that real pine smell to it. So third, third of this bottle, so tip some of this into your spray bottle, whatever size you have, because that doesn't really matter, about a third of the bottle, and then fill the rest of the bottle with water, and that will be your all-purpose spray. So that's my hack number two. Super fast, really easy to do, and let me know if you try it. I will save this as an Instagram TV so you can follow along, and... Um, I would love to know if you try these hacks and if you think they're great at home as well, because, because, because I love to know if you like them. <laughs> okay, that's it. Bye.